Hey, what's banging everybody? I'm back again with a little little bit of a different format thing here. Tonight I want to talk about something that um, I've wanted to talk about for a long time. Believe it or not, there's a lot of things I've wanted to talk about for a while. And this is one of them. Uh, this is like number one on my list of shit that I've wanted to make a video on. Tonight's the night. I've got a beautiful story for you all. And actually, I have just learned tonight that this may actually be a piece of lost Overwatch media. So it's just an interesting look into the psyche of human beings at the time. And, and you know, I'll just stop blabbering. What the, what am I even talking about right now? You know, what's going on? So there's this YouTuber. He's pretty big. His name's uh, Elvis the Alien. And uh, he used to have this series where he would uh, look at porn and fan fiction and just like gross shit of different um, like movies and games and stuff. It was called People Ruin Everything. And it was a pretty apt title because some of those videos are fucking gross. And one of those videos just so happened to be People Ruin Overwatch. And it was a tradition in the videos for Elvis to invite a random person to read a, a gross, yucky, cool fan fiction. And I remember in the Overwatch one, um, he had a Bionic Pig do it. And it, it was less the performance that that struck me not, not that there was anything wrong with it it was it was a fantastic performance but the story itself really stuck out to me and i and i want to read it to you all because it is officially a piece of lost media i think i i'm not 100 percent sure and i really don't feel like fact checking so if it's not here's just another cool avenue to find it i guess so what is it it's a fan fiction of junk rat and roadhog uh, called A Fiery Love. This, it's a very graphic little fan fiction, and to my knowledge, it has been completely expunged off of the internet. Um, I'm sure it's somewhere, but I've looked for it throughout the years and I haven't been able to find it. And fun thing, um, <laughs> that People Ruin Overwatch video is gone as well, uh, to my knowledge, unless someone else has re-uploaded it. Yeah, I guess it's just not a series that uh, Elvis was proud of, and that's fine. I really enjoyed it, and uh, it's <laughs> now inspired me to make this little video here hear about just an excellent little piece of Overwatch history, you know, because I love this game and I love this fan fiction. It might be my favorite fan fiction on the entire internet. Not that I really know many, but if I had to pick one that I've read, I think this would be number one. Oh, and before I actually read the, the story, I want to tell you how I sourced this because I'm not glossing over this. I'm going to gloat about it just a little bit because it was an absolute bitch to do. I wanted to read this fan fiction, even not for a video, but just like to to gross my friends out or something. And so I wanted it as just a, something I could read and I couldn't find it. So one day after school, I, I came home with determination in my eyes to rewatch the, the Elvis the Alien video and then transcribe every sentence, every word, every misspelling, everything. I wanted to get the true experience and I and I wrote it down in a little text document on my phone and I've had it for a couple of years now and I feel like now is the time for me to share what I've been keeping from the world. Now I don't have two phones so the way I'm going to be reading this to you guys is uh, through my, my drawing display and it's this is very small so I, I, I Whoops. I just don't see this going very well, but I'm still going to try it. I'm thinking like I, I like this little candle right here. I think uh, that would that would be kind of cool. It might set the mood a little bit. Uh, at that it might be kind of a cool little uh, little gimmick that we have these days, you know? Because every, every video has got to have gimmicks. You know? Fuck! Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, get some hot cocoa, get some popcorn, and buckle up. Because, uh... We're in for a doozy. This is A Fiery Love, Junkrat x Roadhog fan fiction. Okay, so I'm really considering doing something that I might regret uh, very, very soon, uh, like maybe the next day that I'm going to edit this. I'm really considering doing the impressions for both of these characters. However, this story is told to the perspective of Junkrat, and I'd actually rather stick my balls in one of his bear traps than try to do a consistent Junkrat impression throughout this entire thing. So you know what? I'm going to meet all of us halfway here, and I'm going to do impressions when I feel like it. All right, let's start this shit. Hog Daddy, are we there yet? I moaned with impatience. His massive pig head shifted his way to the back seat where I was sitting. If you say one more word, I will punish you. He oinked sexily. But if it's you, 
I would want to get punished. I whined. He signed and continued driving. I shook my head and started looking out the window. For years now, I've been trying to get his massive pig cock inside of me. Maybe it's because he's dominant. All this time, I've been trying to get his cock inside of me while I should have been waiting. He doesn't obey anyone's rules. I just gotta wait a little while longer and soon his magnum song inside of me. You see, I am a hermaphrodite, so he can wreck my pussy and tear my asshole and fondle my balls all at the same time. I got a boner just thinking about it. Me too, it's a really good thing this camera is is just about about, about shoulder height, because uh, you, you don't want to see what's going on down here. I then started to masturbate to the thought of Hog Daddy's pink throbbing cock pushing my whole body back and forth making me cry in pain. <laughs> I have masturbated to this thought for the tenth time today. I whipped out my two-inch penis and started stroking it. I'm sure plenty of you have at home as well. Suddenly, I felt a big cold hand cover it up whole. Junky poo, your little dong is turning me on. Hog Daddy said quietly. I gasped in surprise. Hog Daddy, will you do it for me? I wimped, biting my lip, hoping he would notice. But Junky poo, I'm your father. He sent back. I twisted my lips and went up to the front seat with my wanker still hanging out. Please, Daddy, I whined. He sighed and took a turn into our house. Why are we going home? I questioned. He turned his head toward me. There is a fucking fly in here and it is really bothering me. He turned his head toward me. I have something to show you. You're finally ready? He said in his deep, arousing voice. I got excited and climbed out of the car. I followed him to his secret room in the basement. He opened the door and there laid hundreds of sex toys. All ready for my choosing. OMG, Daddy, you shouldn't have. I yelled in excitement. And all this time, I was so excited that I forgot that my dick was still out. <laughs> Daddy stared at my cock and grabbed the handcuffs from the corner of the room. Lay on the bed face down, he said in a low growl. I suddenly looked at his pants and saw his 10-inch penis standing straight up in his pants. I licked my lips and did as he commanded. As I lay face first on the bed, he lifted me ass, putting me in a position where he can see everything. He handcuffed my hands to the frame, and I have to switch the page, hold on, and started to pull my pants down. I could feel his cold, clammy pig hands in my cheeks. I moaned at the touch. You like that? He chucked. I like everything you do, Daddy. I half moaned. He chuckled and slapped my ass with a whip. I yelped in pain. More. More. I whispered painfully. I love the pain, especially since he was my father. He slapped it harder the next time, and he kept going until there were reed marks on both of my cheeks. I then heard the sound of unzipping. It's time, I thought. I felt the top of his hook play around with my anus. I moaned quietly. He used this as a sign. He then started to put his thick dick inside of me. With every second, he ripped my asshole, making me moan louder than the screams of burning Jews. Yes, Daddy! Put all of your throbbing cock in! I yelled. He then used this as a sign and suddenly stuffed all ten inches of his hot cock penis inside of me. I moaned loudly with pleasure. He went faster and faster, making my whole body shake. And with each push, I yelled, Harder, hog daddy! You like that, son? He said between breaths. I moaned, showing him that I loved it. He suddenly started fondling my balls. I couldn't say anything but a mmm sound. I wanted him to never stop. As he was fondling my balls, he felt around and felt my vagina. Junkie, you're a hermy, he said in surprise. He lifted his throbbing cock out of my asshole, making it open and close rapidly. Sorry, Daddy, I thought maybe... I stuttered. You must be punished. Now suck my cock as I think of what to do. He said, angry. I whimpered as he took the handcuffs off of me. There were red marks where the handcuffs were. Daddy then grabbed my wrists and pushed me down on the bed. I looked up and saw the tip of his cock tracing my face. I willingly opened my mouth and started sucking his cock. It tasted like bacon. It tasted very good and I gladly went down on all ten inches. After five minutes of me sucking, he cummed while my mouth was still sucking. I knew it would please Daddy if I swallowed all the grease that came out of his bacon-tasting cock. As I struggled to swallow all of his grease, he lifted up my chin and started speaking to me. Do you think I'll be a good grandfather? He asked. I wasn't so sure why he asked that, but I nodded my head in agreement. I saw his cheeks rise, meaning that he was smiling. He pushed me over and whipped my ass into place. 
He felt around and started to finger my vagina. Suddenly, I knew what he meant. You don't mean... I asked. Shut up and let me fuck you! He yelled. I then felt his massive cock search around my pussy, finally finding the right hole. He slowly fit his fried bacon into my 16-year-old pussy. Just gloss over that, I think. I gasped in surprise. I never used this part of me, but now that I know the feeling, I need to use it more often. He he put it in further, a little blood came out. I started to panic, but then he put his meaty fingers against my lips. Shh, it's all right. I felt soothed by his voice. I continued to enjoy the moment. Suddenly, I felt a warm substance fill my pussy. I moaned in pleasure, making me come as well. Wait, what? I moaned in pleasure, making me come as well. D Daddy? I questioned. Hush, my love. You said I would make a good granddaddy. He replied. He took his dick out of me once more, our liquids falling on the bedsheets. We both took a deep breath and realized what a memorable experience this was. We cuddled for the next hour or so, thinking of the name of our child and my baby brother. What do you think, daddy? I asked, admiring his beautiful features. He huffed, deep in thought. What about pyrocynical? He whispered in my ear. Perfect! I whispered back. He then turned his head, locking eyes with me. No homo. As he kissed my head. If you ever read this, I'm sorry. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was the full reading of Junkrat X Roadhog, A Fiery Love, uh, my personal favorite Overwatch fan fiction. You know, what did you guys think? Because I personally, I think it's incredibly well written. I think the characters are very consistent with their in-game, you know, portrayals. Honestly, I think it's a real shame that the writer stopped. Uh, I, I would love to see more fan fictions in this kind of style because honestly it was amazing. But yeah, if you like this video and you want to see some more stuff like it, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and you know, leave a comment and stuff. I have some more ideas of fan fictions that I want to read. Funnily enough, they're actually both also from the People Ruin Everything series. So, fuck it, maybe I make a series of reviving the old fan fictions from that. I, I have no idea. But, uh, yeah, that's about all I had to say for this one. So, see ya.